over here in Medicine Hat, Alberta. We're working on a, a set of commercials for Connect First Credit Union. We'll have them go right to left and left to right just for the hell of it. They'll be in silhouette all the way. We're gonna do it as quick as we can and get to the edge of that coulee for no later than 7.30. So let's proceed over toward the edge of where the money shots are. Towards the edge, that's where we're going, towards the edge. I don't think they all ride right up to this spot. I think a couple of them are starting to walk their bikes, maybe. You know, they're here taking in the sunset. The light theme is really an interesting thing. It's sort of symbolic of many aspects of what's going on right now. There's a belief at Connect First that, you know, what we're doing is for the prosperity of all Albertans. My name is Terry Grant, and I'm playing the uh, rancher named Jim. It's been good. The crew has been great. Um, John, the director, is been marvelous and well, everybody that I've had to work with is great. It's a great crew. I actually cried when I read the scripts and I, I think that you will really move people and touch people and remind people of what it means to be an Albertan. I am you. You are me. We are one. We're like a big family here in Alberta in particular. The film community is very small and we really do watch out for each other. Well, it's a challenge to uh, shoot COVID. That's no, there's no doubt about it. You just have to be cautious with everything. You have to always wear your mask. You have to maintain your distance. We take the safety of every single person working on these sets and everyone we come into contact with very seriously. We have deep cleaners with us, a cleaning team of two people from Real Clean. They're with us at all times. They clean all high touch surfaces. They clean all the locations before and after and during while we're in them. Every single person has been tested, some people multiple times, and we have a COVID compliance officer with us at all times who, you know, checks everybody in every day using an app where people have, you know, pre-answered questions, takes their temperature before they can go to work. I am here to enforce and adjust the COVID protocols to try to keep everybody safe while we're shooting here. He's called me a few times and said, Terry, put your mask on this oh, yeah. It's great to see one of our amazing Alberta cities, you know, with this light and with this sort of like, you know, with our lenses and everything, because we're seeing all these kind of things that maybe even people from Medicine Hat take for granted every day, let alone all Albertans. When we originally started talking about ideas and pitching, we, we talked about the importance of, of filming in the communities that the brand serves. So we knocked on our door. So my husband went to talk to them and they, he met Laszlo and he asked if he could film a commercial in our house. The reaction to us, the film crew, being in the community has been positive because I'm told we brought a little bit of something different and it distracted people from sitting in their homes and whatnot. So even us blocking the street here and with all our trucks and everything, it's like, oh, there's something going on here. Let's check it out. Shannon, our oldest, her room is being used for the commercial. And this is Jovi. Alice, She's the shortest. <laughs> I'm very happy to have had this opportunity to spend a few days here and to uh, bring this show to Medicine Hat. And see. <laughs> it's been kind of an emotional journey for me, I think. Scouting the locations here took me back to being 12 years old and riding my BMX, abandoned mine sites in Crow's Nest Pass. You've got the urban and the rural, and, and then you get down into the industrial sections of Medicine Hat crossing railroad tracks and exploring behind bingo halls and stuff. It's just been really fun, you know, and really inspiring. Well, I hope we made something beautiful to, to share with other Albertans and people around the world. So in a way that light represents that hope and it represents, you know, a beacon. I think we all need something like that right now, given things that have been happening with the economy and given things that obviously that we've been going through with COVID, we really need um, to have a, a little bit of a spark and a reminder that there's, there's a hope.
is a light that connects us all. Let's follow it together.